Here we are today. This is Mick Thomas, Lunker Fish Trips. We're uh, going to prepare some anchovies today for you for salmon fishing. There's many uh, different colors and varieties that we use. You can do this with your sardine baits, your plug cut herring, any one of these baits that we troll for salmon. You can use this process with. It's simple, it's quick, and it's easy. Guaranteed to catch fish. This works immensely for me. I've been doing this since 1981 and salmon of course can be a little finicky so we get a little extra edge with our dyed baits. It uh, helped my production double on uh, numerous days. So the process that we have here with the Potsky's product is very simple and anybody can do it. So now we're going to start this process uh, with the firebrine cure. The nice thing about it is the firebrine, when we do our baits, anchovies, sardines, herring, it's an all-in-one cure. You don't have to add anything to this if you don't want. Of course, as seasoned veteran guides, we got a couple tricks up our sleeve that help enhance our baits and toughen our bait so we'll show you that step-by-step -step process but the beautiful thing is with the Potsky's Firebrine you do not have to add anything to the cure to get a perfect bait so now we'll start with the Firebrine we put it in our trays and we will add our mixture to our I use the Tupperware containers, they work really well. You break them, you can throw them away, uh, not any great loss. So we'll start and we'll w go with the grain and now we're going to make a solution of the blue fire brine. And you just dump it in the tray, you can put in as much as you want. And the good thing about the fire brine, it will last a week as long as you keep it ice cold. So once you cure your first round of baits, you can go back and add another tray of bait, anchovy, herring, sardines, right back into the solution. But after a week uh, using it, it will start breaking down and you'll get, of course, all the fish slime in there and everything. And you want good, fresh solution to your bait for the perfect cure. So now, I'm sorry folks, but this is our purple fire brine and unfortunately I'm the last one to have it. It has been discontinued and uh, it wasn't one of the popular sellers, but it's one of my favorites. So I've got the edge again on you guys and it's a great product. They have the natural uh, red, there's there's numerous different colors. These are not the only colors that Potsky's offers in these bait brines, the fire brines. And so, whatever color you think you like, they have it. So now all you have to do is just throw your baits in the brine. It's real simple. You just throw them in there. Nothing special, nothing. Just throw them in the brine. You can have a dozen, you can have two dozen. You can put as many in there as you'd like. Now, the fire brines, here we have the natural that's already been done. Just to show you, I didn't want to go through the whole process with six different colors. So, here we have our natural fire brine. And the key ingredient for me to toughen my baits You'll see they're firm, very firm, tough, durable. These baits, when you start to cure them, remember, you want to cure these baits overnight. You can't just throw them in the solution that we just did and expect to fish them in five minutes. They, it's called a brine for a reason. They need to soak up and absorb the colorant and the brine needs to work through the the fish so 
for me to help enhance that process and speed it up a little bit, I use ice cream rock salt. And that helps make that bait just a little more durable and it will make it firmer quicker. So when I've got a hot bite going on the river and I'm running low on my baits, with this extra ingredient, the rock salt, it will help enhance those baits a little quicker, toughen them up. So that is the only reason why I use rock salt. So all you have to do, you can just dump it in your container with your fire brine bait. And that dye and that brine will kick that salt off. And there's no measurement. You can just dump it in there. It's good enough in there that it will dissolve in there with the brine and it will start immediately working on those baits. Now the dye, the beautiful thing of the dye is a sheen. The sheen is just spectacular. And now for the third ingredient to make my baits the perfect bait. The fire brine you can use all by itself. Don't sell yourself short, guys. This is a great product. You noticed I added a little rock salt. Now I'm going to add the third ingredient. My favorite ingredient at all. And it's called the Potsky's Fire Dye. And the chartreuse is... You guys got to realize this stuff goes a long way ways it's only a couple squirts a couple drops me I just squirt it twice into my tray and that's it the blue it is a dye that helps even enhance those baits it's so much greater the vibrance of these baits you'll see in our finished product here is spectacular now for me, you just put the lid on the tray now. Okay, guys? That's it. That's how simple that is. This takes me a total of one minute per tray. I throw these in the refrigerator overnight. And when I head for the boat, I've got the perfect baits. Now, you guys need to realize this dye and this brine... It doesn't really stain. It gets all over your boat. Don't worry about it. It washes right off. That's the beauty of this product. So guys, here are a few of the finished product baits. We um, got them in the brines last night. And just so you know, I mentioned a little bit earlier that uh, green was the color of the fire brine. It's actually chartreuse. And... Just so there's no confusion, we have two chartreuse, <clears throat> chartreuse baits on the table. And just to show you how fast this product works, this is put in the brine five minutes ago. And this bait is already taken on that chartreuse color and as soon as it firms up a little bit more, like this bait, where you have the rigidness, toughness of this brine that activates and works on these baits, this bait's still just a little soft, but it would fish, and I would be comfortable fishing it right now. So, these baits, remember this. You can enhance them a little more with the fire dye to give them more vibrant sheen. You can lighten your baits by just using the brines by themselves with no fire dye. And then again, you have the natural, which if you fond of your natural baits, we have it. The fire brine natural is one of my favorites. Sometimes color works and sometimes natural works. So at your own discretion, go to the store, Pick up a bottle and give it a try. Okay guys, here you go. This is a simple trolling rig uh, for anchovy, herring, sardine. 
and with these finished baits I like to use this rotary head slides down your line put a few beads above your hook to hold it up and it's really simple to use and the nice thing about this rotary head is it spins and puts the natural twist to your bait when you're trolling so this is for guys that don't know how to bend a bait get a nice tight turn and it's relatively simple it has a rubber band around the collar here that holds this in place I spread it gently and then use my two fingers and hold it apart I take my bait and you don't have to cram these in and insert these deep I like to go about halfway up the head and it has some little teeth in there and you pinch it shut gently you take your top hook and put it about three quarters away down your bait just above the center line of your bait and you snug it up and you'll see a little bit of a bend and with this rotary head it makes that bait spin in the water like a crippled bait and it really attracts the fish this hook is what we call a stinger hook a trailer hook you leave it hanging on the back side and when the fish come forward on it you got a chance with both hooks so this is a very simple method and very easy to use for novice salmon trollers and it's quick easy and you're fishing Potsky products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potsky.com. And as a thank you for watching Potsky Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.